Hello and welcome to the PCTA podcast. I'm your host, Victoria. And I'm Nataya. Today we're interviewing Mr. Lighty, an English teacher here at PCTA. Our guest today is Mr. Lighty. He is a bird lover with a passion for Shakespeare. He is going to share with us some of his background and how he became a teacher. Hello, Mr. Lighty. Hello. Thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Tell us about yourself. What do you want to know? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Well, not everything, but like... Well, it all started on a Friday afternoon, September 18th, 1970. <laughs> My mother tells me it was raining. You want me to keep going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and uh, that was it. You know, I grew up in Connecticut, went to high school there, eventually uh, graduated from college, moved to Rhode Island about uh, 20-something years ago, became a teacher here. I live in this great, fair city. Providence, Rhode Island, and uh, been at PCTA for 10 years. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, what got you interested in becoming a high school teacher? Like? My mother told me it was a good job for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like being an English teacher? Well, I always liked English. I always liked reading and writing and stuff. And uh, when I was in my mid-20s or so, I was like a rudderless ship, as they say, floating adrift on the sea. <laughs> and uh, my mother said, quit being a slacker, go back to college, get your teaching degree, and uh, become a teacher. So, you know, you should always listen to your mom, and I did. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. So, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to look at birds. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of birds? Uh, any bird, really, you know. Um, we have lots of, lots of beautiful creatures here in Providence and throughout Rhode Island. You have your own list, right? I do have a list. It's, a, 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 it's called a life list when you're a birder. And I have about 300 species on my life list. That's so cool. <laughs> yes. In fact, if you want to know more about the birds, I just saw a very rare specimen a couple of weeks ago in Johnston, believe it or not. The pink-footed goose, which is native to Iceland, and somehow it ended up in Johnston. So that was the latest addition to my life list. You must have been really excited. It huh? was pretty, pretty exciting. Yes. Nice. Yeah. This episode of PCTA Podcast is sponsored by PCTA Cafe and Bakery. The PCTA Cafe and Bakery is now open and taking orders on Friday for our staff and for our staff and faculty. They will deliver orders to your classroom. Please check your emails for an up-to-date menu of our offerings. Can I just say I love their calzones? <laughs> <laughs> um, you told us multiple times in class that you, how much you love birds and like, you know. Yeah. What fascinates you? Like, uh, like why does that call your attention so much? Well, birds are sort of the easiest uh, thing in, uh, thing's a bad word, but thing in nature to see. So, you know, obviously plants are, but as far as animals, you don't really see a lot of animals out there in the wild you see a squirrel or but because birds are so visible and because they fly and they're very colorful that's actually a fairly easy way to uh experience nature mm -hmm. very nice. you like very like outdoor things and stuff. i do like being outdoors do you have a favorite bird um my dream bird to see is a uh is an albatross um it's the largest flying bird has a 10 foot wingspan but um, chances are I'll have to go down towards the South Pole to oh. see one. But I do hope to one day see an albatross. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How has teaching been for you with the, the pandemic going around? Awful. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's been pretty bad. But uh, I'm glad that we uh, are in school. I can't imagine the other... I mean, there's tons of cities all over America that are still, um, you know, virtual and it's no we're it's this isn't ideal by any means but at least we're here and we're get to see each other and talk to real humans instead of dealing with zoom what do you hope your students take with them after they graduate um well i think the ultimate goal of education is being able to educate yourself so hopefully we are able to teach people to 
figure out how to think and figure out how to learn on their own. And I think that's really the most valuable lesson. And also just the process of going through it. Like if you hate, I always hated math and science, but the, the, the sense of accomplishment that you get from completing those is, um, I think a valuable lesson just for being able to like stick with something and finishing it. Once again, you're listening to PCTA Podcast. We want to thank our guest today, Mr. Lighty, for sharing his story with us. Keep an eye out for our next episode coming to you soon.